can't. I, I, I can't. I can't. I just can't. Hello, this is the doctor. Doc, hey, um, this is Alan Tyson. Yes, Mr. Tyson. I, I, I haven't heard from you in a long time. Well, you know, last season for our birds was a huge success, but unfortunately, we've struggled a little bit so far in 2019. That's the reason I called. As you probably know, two Saturdays ago, we went into overtime at South Alabama. Yes, yes, I am very aware of that, but could you not tell me about it? What'd you say, Doc? I, I didn't get that. No, nothing, no, no, nothing. Go ahead. Well, about the time that South Alabama was lining up to kick the game-winning field goal, I turned my TV off. I just couldn't take it. And since that time, I haven't been able to finish watching it. I just can't bear to see us lose that game. I won't let my family talk to me about it or tell me what happened. I can't visit the Georgia Southern website or Flightline anymore. I haven't even been to work because I'm afraid somebody will talk to me about what happened. And now it's time for Genebabe and I to do our weekly video. And frankly, I don't know what to say. Can you help me, Doc? Yes, Mr. Tyson. Well, I, I do understand your dilemma, but I, I have heard you say that football is, well, just a game, and you have to savor your victories, accept your losses, and move on. What I'm going to do, Mr. Tyson, is I'm going to count to three, and then I'd like for us, uh, for you to hit play, watch the field goal, and take it like a man. If you feel that you need to call me back when it's over, then certainly feel free to do that. Okay, Doc, if you say so. One. Two, three. Back to the 28, so this will be about a 45 yard kick. Creates this situation. Here's O'Neill for the win, it is blocked. The kick is blocked, and we play on in Mobile. Back up. So Cephas Johnson hit as he throws, the ball comes loose, and is picked up by Georgia Southern. You, Georgia Southern will have the ball, needing points to win. 37 yards. Tyler Bass on the way, and a Georgia Southern winner. Tucked it inside, the left upright, and the Eagles survive a wild Thursday night game in Mobile. Yes, this is the doctor. Doc, Doc, we won, we won, we won, we won the game, Doc, we won, we, we won! <laughs> yes, we did, Mr. Tyson, yes, we did. And I hope you have a great rest of your season, Mr. Tyson. I'm sorry, I have to go, I have someone beeping in. As for today, it's been 16 days, but our Eagles are back in action as they take on Coastal Carolina in a pivotal Sunbelt East matchup. Though the two teams have met on five previous occasions dating back to 2006, this will be only the second time the Chanticleers have left the golf capital of the world to come to Paulson Stadium. 
These beach birds from the boulevard beat Kansas earlier in the season, but are coming off back-to-back -back conference losses to Crap State and Gag State and will be looking for their first Sunbelt win of the season against our birds. It's Military Appreciation Day at the prettiest little stadium in America, and I want to take this opportunity to thank our men and women in uniform for all they do to defend our freedoms. We as Americans owe a debt of gratitude too big to put into words to these folks who willingly put themselves in harm's way to protect the things that we hold so dear. I pray that God will bless and protect each of you today and in the days to come. May you return home safely to your families and may God bless America. And now back to football. These fairy tale roosters from the Redneck Riviera are pretty sporty on offense, averaging over 33 points per game. They are well balanced, having reached pay dirt 14 times on the ground and 12 times through the air. But they do have a tendency to turn the ball over with six interceptions and three lost fumbles in their first six games. As far as our Bluebirds of Prey are concerned, statistically on offense, well, they're a train wreck. But what we have done in the two games that we've won is rush the ball very well and stop the other team from rushing it. I look for our men in blue to use that same formula today against these chickens from the Waccamaw River Valley as we run our record to 3-3 three and three overall and two and one in the SBC. Crush this clutch of capons from Conway Eagles. And folks, you just can't beat that. And you just can't beat Georgia Southern. And you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs>